Welcome back to Z Code System here on YouTube. And we are so happy to have you back here. And if this is your first time checking out Z Code System and our weekly YouTube shows, then thanks for stopping by. We hope that you enjoy it and you're ready to win some profits this weekend betting on the Premier League. And if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time to come by and to watch one of our great videos here on YouTube, then thank you so much for sticking with us and coming back each week. Guys, we've got some big returns going on this week, and the biggest being the Premier League, which kicks off tonight, June 17, with a couple of matches that are going to go on in midweek before Saturday, or actually Friday's big return when we see the games kick off and usher in a huge weekend of football going on in England. Now, the Premier League is not the only league returning this week as we will also see the returns of Serie A and as well as the EFL Championship, which is the second division of English football. So this is a fantastic weekend in which you will be able to get a lot of games on your menu of betting. And this goes all along with La Liga as well as the, the Bundesliga and the Portuguese Liga, which have all returned. Now, this month is a huge month of sports, and July is going to get even bigger as we have we have a number of sports leagues coming back, and this all means betting opportunities for you and I. Now, as you can see there, we've got our most recent blog about the Premier League and the return. You can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog site, and you can read through this, and you can get all up to date and prepared for tonight's Mad. tonight's matches as well as this weekend's games now the three games that i've profiled this week uh, and given predictions for those are actually for this weekend but you can go there and get some information on tonight's games between manchester city and arsenal as well as aston villa and sheffield united because those games uh, those games were to be played back in march but they were the first ones to be canceled due to the covid19 hiatus so, of course, those are going to be the first games tonight. Now, as you can see here, you know which team I'm getting excited for this weekend as Liverpool have a chance to lift the title for the first time in 30 years. Of course, though, they will need Manchester City to lose tonight to Arsenal to give them hopes of that. Now, before we get to our picks for the weekend, I just want you to take a look at a couple of things here on the blog. And one is the, in case you missed it, our big updates. As I said before, this month has seen a number of professional soccer football leagues come back and back in action. Like I said, Premier League this weekend, Serie A this weekend, all back. But in July, we're going to see some more big sports leagues come back. The NBA, the NHL, both are on track to come back. We all know the NBA will be having the Orlando tournament coming up to crown a champion. The NHL is going to also have a tournament to crown a champion in which they have four hub cities showcasing the teams. And this is going to be awesome for all of us who love sports, not just for betting, but for watching, because we're going to get to see so much sports coming up. And, and the great thing is this is a time period when we would not normally see these sports. Of course, like the Premier League, the Bundesliga, the La Liga, these would not be uh, played at this point. We'd be seeing international tournaments this summer, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are getting to see these sports leagues. And of course, we're going to be getting to see the NBA and the NHL coming up uh, in July and August and September. Uh, also, just to give a little update, Major League Soccer in the USA is also going to be uh, kicking back off. They're going to be having a tournament of their own in Orlando. And if you are into Aussie Rules football, that is back on tap and running down under so you can check that out now also i want to draw your attention to the z code meter current leaders as you can see there our blog are you in the lead go over there have a look at that and check out all the information about the z code contest that is going on right now how you can get into how you can get involved and how you can make some awesome profits so guys that is really what's going on right now this week at z code system and we implore you to go over to the website, check everything out, and stay on top of all of the sports betting opportunities and your chances to win some cash. Now let's take a look at some predictions courtesy of Zico's system and the VIP picks. We're going to take a look at two games. 
I profiled three games in the blog. You're going to have to go over to check out that other game. That's Tottenham Hotspur taking on Manchester United, which is going to take place on Friday night. And that's a huge game in the race for the top five. So go over there and you can read about that and get the prediction that we... But right now, we're going to take a look at two games for this weekend coming up on Saturday. Now, before I tell you about Leicester City and Watford, I just want to say that last week, if you watched our La Liga Returns video and you checked out the predictions that we have, you will have seen that we picked three out of three games correct. So be sure to keep checking back with Z Code System and follow along on the video so I can give you some great ideas, tips, and predictions for this weekend's games in the Premier League. Now, we have a game going on between Leicester City and Watford this weekend at Vicarage Road in Watford. And as you can see there, Watford are ice cold down. They are near the bottom of the table. They are only out of the relegation places due to goal difference. Not playing very good football at the moment under Nigel Pearson. Now, he did come in during the midseason and uh, turn around the team for a bit, but they have kind of tre uh, trended downwards in more recent weeks. And as you can see there, they're 17th in the Premier League at the moment taking on Leicester City, who are third in the Premier League, and getting going again and burning hot. Now, the big thing about coming back from the COVID-19 break is how uh, sharp are the players going to be and how fit are they going to be. Now, teams will get five subs uh, coming back, so that will be uh, a benefit to them in terms of fitness and health, but how sharp are the players going to be? They only returned to training back in May, at the end of May, so we've got a ways to go um, for these players to really get back in form. Now, with Leicester City, the break will have done some of their players really good. Uh, for example, Jamie Vardy, he's a, a an aging player in his early 30s. Uh, he leads the team in goal scoring. He leads the Premier League scoring, for that matter, 19 goals this season. The break should do him some well and help those old legs to carry on for the rest of the season. Watford, I don't think the break is going to have done them very much good. They still have a lot of injury problems uh, at, in their squad, and a lot of players were not able to get fit uh, between the, uh, the middle of March when the break occurred and this point right now. I don't think Watford have much of a chance in this game. I think they're going to end up losing this to Leicester City. I like that 2-1 scoreline with both teams scoring and over 2.5 goals. Now, one of the things to note in this is when the Bundesliga came back in May, one of the trends that we saw was away teams picking up wins early on. Now, this happened because home field advantage has been nullified for the most part due to playing behind closed doors. One of the things that you will hear this weekend is some artificial crowd noise that will be played over the PA systems, which is actually quite fun if you've watched any of La Liga lately or any of the Bundesliga, uh, the CGI fans in the crowd, as well as the um, crowd noise that has been pre-recorded that is played uh, throughout the game. It actually makes it feel like there are fans at the game, so you don't really notice the difference, but obviously the players will, and I think playing away will not affect Leicester City in this game, and I think they're going to pick up a win. I like that 2-1 scoreline that uh, uh, the Z Code VIP has picked, and I think Leicester City are going to pick up a win in this game. Now, let's let's just take a look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams from the last few games that they've played, just to give you a little bit more insight uh, into this game going forward. And as you can see there, Leicester City did win their game earlier this season, uh, back in December, 2-0, uh, an easy win for them. But as you can see, uh, at home, the home team has won the last uh, well, five games between these two sides, six games between these two sides. So don't underestimate Watford, but I think Leicester City are just going to edge them. They have better talent. And of course, like I said, Jamie Vardy uh, is going to be well-rested, and I wouldn't be surprised if he sneaks a goal in this game for Leicester City. Now, Let's take a look at one more game heading into this weekend, and this is going to be a game that we've also profiled on the blog. And I get my drop-down menu here, and I'm going to pick out Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on West Ham. So we have Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on West Ham. Now, this is a, another game between a team fighting for a top-five place and a team down near the bottom of the table. West Ham are atrocious. They're 16th in the Premier League, while Wolverhampton Wanderers are 6th. 
Wolves should have benefited massively from the COVID-19 break. This is because they had, up to that point, played the most games of any team in the Premier League. They started their Europa League campaign back in July 2019. So almost 12 months ago, they started their Europa League campaign. They had played uh, a number of qualifying matches just to reach the Europa League proper. Now, I believe it was something like the team had played six games in qualifying before the Premier League season even kicked off. So that is a massive number of extra games that they ended up playing by playing in Europe this year. Wolves are a very good team, but we saw in the middle of the season the uh, fatigue factor really coming to play for Wolves. So I think that the break will have done them some good, and I think this team is going to be really good down the stretch. They have a chance of making the top five, which could see them make the Champions League for next season. Now I say could because Manchester City, who are second right now and the reigning, uh, the reigning Premier League champions, they are under uh, a ban, a two-year ban in the Champions League. This will be confirmed, I believe it's supposed to be today, uh, the 17th of June, that the actual ruling is supposed to come down. The CAS is hearing the appeal. Um, they said that the, the appeal should be finished by today, but we may not know the actual news until a few more weeks. But Manchester City could lose out for the next two years on going to the Champions League, regardless of how they do in the Premier League. And that, uh, if they finish in the top four, that place would go down to the fifth place finisher. So Wolves are fighting for that fifth place spot, and they're not too far off from it. Uh, they have a great shot at it, but so do Manchester United, and so do Tottenham Hotspur. Arsenal are even in there with a shout. So there are some teams who are fighting for that spot right now, and uh, that could be a massive lucrative spot. It could also be a place that allows Wolves to keep some of their best players who are right now being linked to other teams. Uh, striker Raul, uh, Raul Jimenez, who has been fantastic this season, he's linked to a move to Manchester United, while winger Adama Traore is linked with a move to Liverpool. So a lot of things will be happening at Molyneux when the season, uh, uh, when the season finishes later on in July. Now, West Ham, like I said, ice cold down right there. They're not playing very good football. And uh, if we just put our uh, cursor over here, uh, just to take a look at their last few games, uh, we saw on March 7th, their last game, a 1-0 loss to uh, to Arsenal. They did beat Southampton, but that Southampton win, you know, that was a, a game that a team that uh, West Ham should have beaten anyway. So that wasn't really unexpected. This is not a very good West Ham team, and I don't think they have the players that are... Uh, mentally good enough to keep them from going down or going into relegation. And I think the big factor here in whether or not West Ham uh, are relegated, I think the big factor has to do with the teams around them and how poorly they play in the last nine games of the season. I'm backing Wolves on this game. I think that they're going to win. Now, I do like that. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the scoreline there, 2-1. Um, the, the one caveat about this is teams are going to lack sharpness coming back. And I think that when these teams meet, when any of the teams meet in the Premier League, they haven't played in over three months. I think that having um, a good defense, sorry, a good attack, is going to outdo a good defense just because of that sharpness. Uh, the sharpness in defense is going to be a little bit off. And I think we could see some games with big score lines this weekend, but I'm not sure it's going to be this game because I don't think West Ham have that great of an attack. Uh, they've struggled to score goals this season, and Wolves don't score a lot of goals anyway. So this game could be a low-scoring game there at the Olympic Stadium in uh, London. Now, just take a look real quickly before we finish up here, the head-to-head -head between these two teams over the last few games. And as we can see there, we've got three games, uh, and Wolves have won all three of those games. And as you can see there, two of those games finished with under 2.5 goals, and Wolves 1-0 in all three dating back to September 2018. So will we see a win to nil this weekend from Wolverhampton Wanderers? Yeah, we could do that. Um, will we see any 2.5 goals? Again, we could see that. So there's a lot of um, there's a lot of caveats going into these games, and a lot of it has to do with that three-month-plus uh, three three break that we've just seen 
in the Premier League. But I'm backing Wolves to win this game. And if you want to throw on a uh, a, a uh, accumulator, then you know you might go Wolves, Leicester City, and go over to the blog and check out that prediction we have for Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester United. And you can throw that one on there too. And hopefully that treble will win you big money this weekend. Guys, those are my picks this weekend for uh, the Premier League coming up on Saturday. Now, don't forget that Tottenham-Manchester United game is going to be on Friday. Wolves, West Ham, and Leicester City and Watford are on Saturday. Games all weekend. They kick off tonight. Uh, those games in hand for those four teams, Manchester City, Arsenal, uh, Aston Villa, and Sheffield United. Big matches there. Those are games in hand for those teams to make up. This weekend, Friday, kicks off all the action in the Premier League, and it's going to carry over into Sunday. So, guys, good luck with your Premier League betting this weekend. Go over to Z Code System, check out the Soccer Buddy, check out the score predictions, and check out the VIP, the VIP wall, and get all of the information that you need to go and make smart, educated bets on the division. So, we'll see you next week, guys, here on YouTube. And by the way, please leave some comments. Let us know what you think, how these predictions are working for you, and maybe next week some games that you want to see previewed. Also, if you can, give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything that is Z-Code System every time we post a video, and you can get these great picks every week. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week, and good luck this weekend.